by pointing up at your timeline? Our assignment was show a part of California's history, so um, I showed at, as a fruit, and to me a fruit is a symbol of time because it's picked off a tree, and the tree is like a massive thing of time, and a fruit is just the piece of time that I'm explaining right now. We used the bear paw prints because the bear is the animal of California. Grizzly bear. Grizzly bear. We used envision, envision in our mind, and maybe our like what we envision, what we couldn't do on the paper sometime. But we still, if we made a mistake, we worked on it and we tried to make it the best that we could. Yeah. So when we started Mylan School, it was teachers looking for a different way of teaching and understanding how learning is represented to children. We landed with support on arts integrated curriculum with inquiry learning as a part of that. Being able to stretch and explore and do something new is something that you're going to see across every subject and that's that kind of creative problem solving that we're looking for students to have when they come out. It's just all very authentic and there's more buy-in. The actual projects take weeks to finish. Kindergarten. First, second, third. In fifth grade they'll take this, all the work that's in here that's been kind of temporarily stuck in here and they're going to reorganize it in the way that they want to so that they have a portfolio. Our through line is how can the little things we do make a big difference. We talk about how little things like tending to each plant, giving a little bit of water, making sure they have enough sunlight, and just kind of paying very mindful attention to each individual plant and what it needs um, has been, has really lent itself to our uh, talking about our through line. They all created cityscapes. They made them all dreary at first and then they went back and added their own beauty to it in little, they went out in for three minutes or four minutes and just added a little bit of beauty at a time as though the garden was growing and they were, they were growing it. One of the students came up with a project to make t-shirts showing that moderate scientific models show sea level rise of approximately three feet by 2100 and they would mark on the shirt that if three feet was about where it was we were going to measure up to that on their bodies where three feet was and dye the shirts up to that level to show people this is what sea level rise looks like in a tangible way. We've screen printed these uh, shirts and we're going to be doing a march around the school um, next week. And these processes go beyond the art room. They're very much integrated across the school. And that's how it's changing. It's not isolated projects. It's many kinds of work. To me, it's much more thorough as far as what the students are understanding. There is a greater wealth here to create deeper meaning for students and understanding curriculum and understanding the world around them.